Hey Gemini's and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love message for the 1st of August. I'm going to tip you down so you can see your cards come out here. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mm, I think you might have had another one in there. Maybe not. All right. So, the Seven of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the King of Swords is your energy. The person you are dealing with. The Two of Cups. Oops, what am I doing? <laughs> the Tower. Let's get these up so they all fit here. And the Page of Swords. bottom of your deck and shared energy is the queen of pentacles clarified with the two of swords and the strength card okay gemini so you could be dealing with a earth sign if not it's just somebody who's very focused on their finances right now um providing for themselves making sure they're okay they had to take some time to focus on themselves, or this could be you, Gemini, um, to focus on themselves and balance out those inner opposites, you know, your fear, your doubts. Um, they couldn't make a decision to move forward until they did this. Uh, the strength is in the reverse, so they are finding the courage to come forward and make a decision um, that's going to affect you both. So your energy here, um, the Seven of Pentacles, you've been very patient with this person making a decision. Um, you've, you've put your um, intentions out there, you put all your cards out on the table, and uh, have been patiently waiting for this person. However, in your current energy, you do have a chariot. So you are moving away from this tower energy. The tower, or the chariot always leaves the tower in search of the star, which is healing, which is your focus card of the day. So um, you need to focus on that star energy and finding healing from this situation. In the past, your person has the Two of Cups. Um, the two of you made each other very happy. Uh, they've seen you as your, their soulmate. Um, the two of you just clicked. You vibed here. Um, but they're, they're pretty shocked by the um, fact that you are leaving here, uh, Gemini. So you and your cross watcher both need to um, need to find that healing. You could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, um, any water sign that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Earth, which is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, as well as Leo. Um, that's all I see here. So yeah gemini you're deciding you have planted your seeds uh of intention and they're not like they're not matching up with this person so you are letting this person know gemini that you are leaving moving forward um because you need to uh you need to move to a place where you feel you're meant to be the king of swords um has gone through a transformation um, which is also your card, Gemini. So you're just, you're moving towards more uh, stable ground where you think and feel you're meant to be. Yeah, because you have awakened. This is moving forward with the truth, moving towards a spiritual partner, um, moving towards a more spiritual path for yourself. I honestly don't see anyone else in this picture here. Um, I don't see a third party. Um, it's just you aren't happy anymore in this in this uh, relationship bottom of the deck is the ace of wands so you're moving forward um, towards something you're more passionate about this person um, is a little more immature than you could be younger 
but uh, they could be saying some pretty hurtful things. They're also like spying on you, thinking maybe there's a third party that you're moving away towards, but that's really not the case. Um, yeah, they're going to appear very closed off when you give them this news because they're heartbroken. In your guys' outcome, you have the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So um, in the past, you've kept silent about your unhappiness. Um, you just feel like there's too much lack here to continue um, going forward. You're currently in this crossroads. Do I stay or do I go? What do I do? What's best for me? Bottom of your deck. You do have a spiritual partner that is um, in your space, but not in a relationship with yet. But as the outcome, you are letting go of this family uh, that you created with this other person. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here in reverse? You've made the choice to let it go. Yeah, and manifest something else. Manifest a new life, a new beginning. Create something new that you're passionate about. Yeah, whoa. Yep. So, look at that. I'm going to use a different deck to pull clarifiers on those three because that is a huge three to pull out together. Why is the devil here? Could be leaving a Capricorn because of the pentacles here. Um, why is the devil here for Gemini today? Yeah, you could, you're could. you leaving um, this behind in search of, of new love, of a new beginning. Um, this is coming with the, the new moon that we just had last night. Holy cow. Feeling like you're missing out. You're moving towards something better. You're going to follow your heart and move into the path you feel is destined for you. In this time of Leo, you are seeking justice. Um, I do see you severing the contract with this person. If it's in work, if it's in um, love, uh, getting a divorce. Why is the high? Or, and you are going to be communicating that in this time of Leo with your person. Why is the high priestess here? You have been silent about this for a long time. Um, keeping it to yourself that you were unhappy. Wow, my goodness. Gemini, big day for you. High priestess going to justice. So you have not been um, open and honest about how you want a divorce, but you are now. That's all coming out in the time of Leo with the Eight of Wands. I do see you leaving this relationship, Gemini. Could be worried about children. Yeah, but you're going to follow your passion um, and no longer um, ignore your intuition about where you um, want to go in life. You just don't feel this person's uh, goals or future line up with yours. Uh, you have awakened and you are moving forward, ascending to a higher level of your own being. Not necessarily moving towards anybody else, but you are doing what's best for you, Gemini. Your guidance for the day, fairness, which is the justice card. This situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So it will work out okay in court. Things will work out in your favor and very balanced and fair for both parties. Once again, I do see you, Gemini, filing for that divorce um, or walking away from that earth sign or what do we have in there? I forgot. I had named him at the beginning. but So big day for you, Gemini. Um, your main focus of the day, once again, is that healing uh, energy of the star. Know that everything will work out just the way it's meant to as long as you are um, listening to your intuition and following that path that the universe is illuminating for you to follow. So, Gemini, I hope you have a beautiful day, and I will see you tomorrow. Um, make sure you check out my Vimeo. I do have three-month forecasts for you guys there for just two bucks. Um, check it out. So I will see you guys later. God bless.